The next part of the evaluation of the trauma patient is known as the E-FAST, or the extended fast, and that is evaluation of the chest for the presence or absence of a pneumothorax, which is shown to have similar sensitivities to that of CT scan for the evaluation of pneumothorax. In E-FAST, one has to change the probe type to that of a linear probe, which is the same type of probe we use for invasive procedures such as uh, IJ central lines. So you have a low level of suspicion for pneumothorax, a quick evaluation for pneumothorax can be done in the following manner. You take the linear probe, you place it just below the clavicle, and you move it so that you have a rib present, shown here by a dark space, and here is a dark space, which is being caused by the sound wave not being able to penetrate through the rib, to the area in between the ribs, which is the pleural line. When the pleural line is being evaluated, a normal pleural interface shows two aspects. One is lung sliding, which can be seen with slight movement of the visceral and parietal pleura on each other, which can be seen by these little, almost like ants walking along this bright white line. The other finding of normal lungs is that of comet tailing, and you can see here and here, the bright white lines shining down, which is an artifact caused by the visceral and the parietal pleura rubbing on each other, and that is normal lung. If those are seen, there is no pneumothorax present in that location. The lateral side uh, can be done uh, for comparison, each person acting as their own internal control. In a situation where you have a higher level of suspicion for pneumothorax, you should evaluate the chest in more than one location, i.e. you should move your probe down the chest wall and out laterally, checking in each of these locations for the presence of lung sliding and comet tailing, as can be seen here on the screen. Moving laterally, again you see lung sliding and comet tailing.